With the rise of disease outbreaks and pest activity, your city or neighborhood ordinance may begin to spray insecticides around the area, if they aren't already. Generally, most community spraying is done with small amounts of adulticide applied to the air as a fine mist by a licensed applicator truck or by foot with a type of fogging device. While most homeowners assume that one application of community spraying will solve any pest problem, there's still pest management tasks needed on your end to ensure complete control. So in this video, we'll go over what community spraying accomplishes and what you can do to ensure its success on your property. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video, and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The effectiveness of community spraying depends on a variety of factors. For example, if your community were to spray for mosquitoes, things like pest life cycle, the type and amount of chemical to be used, current weather conditions, and the size and density of the areas to be sprayed will have an effect on how much control one application will have. Community spraying can guarantee temporary control of pest populations, but not complete control. Often, community spraying is only done when pest populations are high. If only an adulticide is applied in the area, then the larvae will still exist to create future pest infestations. Maximum pest control depends on the areas being treated and the conditions allowing pests to thrive. By ignoring these conditions, any prior treatment done for the community could be rendered ineffective. The first thing to do before community spraying is to apply integrated pest management to eliminate suitable pest conditions. This will remove pest harborages, eliminate excess water, and increase the efficacy of any spray application done in the area. Mow your lawn regularly to maintain a height of 3 or 4 inches. This is enough height to shade the soil to deny weeds any sunlight and encourage grass to establish roots deeper into the ground, as a taller grass height means stronger roots. Trim away overhanging tree branches and overgrown foliage, then rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris. This will decrease the amount of shade your lawn receives, encouraging water evaporation and reducing the number of potential pest harborages. Additionally, you'll need to eliminate any standing water and reduce the moisture on your property, as pests not only need water to survive, but some pests, like mosquitoes, can use stagnant water to breed. Clean out your rain gutters if necessary, and empty bird baths and other objects that can hold water, like plant pots or loose tires. If you're still seeing pests after a community-wide spray application, this could be due to several reasons. One common reason may be the mist from the pesticide truck or fogger did not reach all the surfaces within your yard. Any pests you could be seeing currently are the ones that did not come into contact with the product during the time of application. Pests like mosquitoes tend to hide underneath tall grass or leaves, and even cockroaches will hide in dark shaded areas like underneath piles of wood. In order to gain full control of pests on your property, we recommend you supplement the community application with treatment of your own. You'll do this at least 48 hours after the community application has dried. We recommend you use a broad-spectrum insecticide like Reclaim IT paired with an insect growth regulator, or IGR, like Teco Pro IGR. Reclaim IT is a bifenthrin-based liquid insecticide that's labeled to treat over 70 different pests, while Teco Pro IGR will stop immature pests from developing into reproducing adults. We recommend you make this treatment with a 1-gallon handheld pump sprayer, since it makes chemical application quick and easy. To mix your solution, add half the water into the reservoir, then add your measured amount of Reclaim IT and Teco Pro IGR. Add the remaining half of the water up to the 1-gallon line, close the sprayer tight, and shake it to agitate the solution. Pump up the sprayer to produce a low-pressure spray. Broadcast the solution over your lawn, your ornamentals, and any other shrubbery, making a nice even coat. Don't forget to spray underneath any leaves and allow the treatment to dry afterward. To control pest larvae on your property, you can use a product like BTI Mosquito Dunks to target the larvae directly and eliminate them before they can become adults. Simply remove a dunk from the package and set it in contained standing water. One whole dunk is needed to treat a container with 25 to 100 square feet of surface area. To reduce waste in containers of water with less than 25 square feet of surface area, you may break a single dunk down to a half to treat 5 to 25 square feet, or one quarter of a dunk to treat 1 to 5 square feet. To treat areas greater than 100 square feet, you will need more than one dunk. Once set, the product will float on the water surface and slowly release its active ingredient, a bacterium known as Bacillus thuringiensis israelensis, otherwise known as BTI. 
mosquito larvae that consume BTI, will die within 48 hours of ingestion. Community spraying may bring temporary relief from bugs like flies or mosquitoes, but you'll need to do your part as well to ensure complete control on your property. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop pests from infesting your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.